good morning students uh, welcome you again on the online e-learning classes arranged by the Bardman model school so uh, look students in the last class we have uh, discussed few problem from the exercise uh, 4.5 I think we have done up to exercise uh, question number 4 and today we will continue uh, this exercise now look on the last uh, class we uh, establish a relationship that is uh, a into adjoint a is equal to dt into i where i is the identity matrix now from here we will establish the uh, formula to calculating the inverse of an matrix so look how so if i uh, post multiply by a inverse both in both the side what happened so if i now apply the associative property so a into uh, a inverse into adjoint of a that is equal to mod a is a constant term into when we multiply a inverse with identity matrix so it will become a a inverse that imply now when a is multiplied with a inverse the result will be the identity matrix into adjoint a that is equal to data into a inverse that means adjoint of a is equal to data into a inverse now from here we can write that a inverse is equal to 1 by data into adjoint of a so this is the rule this is the formula to calculating the inverse of any matrix a inverse is equal to 1 by data into adjoint of a or you can uh, learn it adjoint a by the model okay now we will uh, going to use this formula to calculate uh, uh, the inverse of few problem okay so look uh, in your book from 5 to uh, 11 all are uh, um, problem to calculate the inverse of the matrix so we'll uh, choose few of them and solve okay so first i'm choosing a two cross two matrix and uh, see how to calculate the inverse of that matrix so uh, let's choose a uh, question number six so let the given matrix a equal to minus 1 5 minus 3 2 we have to calculate the um, inverse of their matrix and we know the formula to calculating inverse is a inverse is equal to 1 by data into adjoint of a now look the inverse of the matrix exists if this term means mod a is not equal to 0 that means the matrix uh, a is non singular means a is a non singular matrix okay. so first calculate the determinant of a so determinant of a will be minus 1 5 minus 3 and 2 now expand the determinant it is a 2 cross 2 determinant so expand it and the rules of expanding it we have to multiply these two element so 1 into minus 2 that is equal to minus 2 minus multiply these two element that is a minus 3 into 5 that is minus 15 so that is minus 2 plus 15 which is equal to 13 so data is equal to 13 now we have to calculate the adjoint of the matrix a now so calculate adjoint of a adjoint of a so adjoint of a is the formula is a11 a12 a21 a22 where capital a11 capital a12 means in general capital aij is the adjoint uh, is a cofactor of small aij okay so uh, calculate them okay so capital a11 which is equal to uh, if you delete the first row 
and the first column from the matrix A. So, the remaining number will be the uh, adjoint uh, cofactor of this element. So, that is equal to 2 minus. Now, uh, so transpose uh, cofactor of A 1 2 means this element cofactor of this element means we have to uh, cover this row and this column. So, the number equal to minus 3. Cofactor of A 2 2 means this element will be uh, minus 5 and cofactor of uh, A 2 2 that is equal to minus 1 and whole transpose. Okay. So, whole transpose means we have to uh, interchange row into column. So, if I interchange row into column, then we have a 2 and minus 5, this is 3 and this is minus 1, whole transpose. Uh, not, not transpose, we have done the transposition. So, adjoint A is equal to this matrix. Now, apply this formula to calculate the inverse. So, A inverse is equal to write the formula once 1 by dt into adjoint of A that means 1 by the value of dt is equal to 13 into adjoint A is a matrix which value is 2 comma minus 5 2 minus 5 3 minus 1. So, this is the inverse of the given matrix. So, look process is easy. First, we have to check whether the value of the determinants are coming uh, 0 or non-zero. If the determinant uh, value of the determinant is non-zero means the determinant is non uh, matrix is non-singular matrix, then we only can uh, calculate the inverse of the matrix. When uh, determinant is known, then calculate the adjoint of the matrix and then apply the formula A inverse equal to 1 by data into adjoint A. Got it? Okay. So, this is the example of uh, 2 cross 2 matrix. Now, we will uh, calculate the inverse of a matrix whose order is 3 cross 3. Okay. So, uh, let us choose um, question number uh, suppose 8, choose question number 8. Okay. So, question number 8 is Uh, 1 0 0 the matrix A is 1 0 0 3 3 0 3 3 0 and uh, third row is 5 2 minus 1 5 2 minus 1. This is the given matrix we have to calculate the inverse of this matrix. Now, look First, we have to check whether the matrix is non-singular matrix or not. Okay. So, calculate the determinant of the matrix. Data is equal to 1, 0, 0, 3, 3, 0, 5, 2, minus 1. Okay. So, uh, we know, I think uh, we know very well how to expand this uh, determinant. So, we will expand this determinant along the first row because it contains maximum number of 0. So, if I uh, expand the determinant along the first row, so it will be 1 into 3 1 is minus 3 minus 0 minus 0 into uh, minus 3 minus 0 plus 0 into uh, 3 to the 6 minus 5 3 to the 15. So, these two term will be 0 because uh, uh, there is a 0. So, the um, value of the determinant is equal to minus 3. All, uh, obviously, minus 3 is not equal to 0. Clear? Minus 3 is not equal to 0. So, uh, the matrix is non singular matrix. So, we can calculate its inverse. Now, we have to calculate its adjoint. So, calculate the adjoint of A. Adjoint of A. Now, look, the formula to calculating adjoint is. Uh, a 1 1, A 1 2, A 1 3, A 2 1, A 2 2, A 2 3, A 3 1, A 3 2, A 3 3, where capital A i j is the cofactor of small a i j. Now, uh, uh, 
write the adjoint okay so a11 a11 means uh, uh, this is our a11 element to calculate the cofactor of a11 we have to cover the first row and the first column so we have a, we have a determinant of order 2 cross 2 that is 3 0 3 0 2 minus 1 so write that determinant 3 0 2 minus 1 now a 1 2 say 1 2 is the this corresponding to this element so we have to cover this row and this column so the remaining uh, element will be 3 0 5 minus 1 okay but sign will be negative uh, 3 0 3 0 5 minus 1 okay. and here we have to use the tran transpose okay uh, now cofactor of uh, corresponding to this element means a13 so we have to cover the first row and the third column so the element will be 3 3 5 2 3 3 5 2 so this is the first row of the adjoint matrix okay now we have to calculate the cofactor corresponding to do this element so cover this row and this column so 0 0 2 minus 1 but sign will be negative 0 0 0 0 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 now the next element will be corresponding to add uh, corresponding to this element so 1 0 5 minus 1 1 0 5 minus 1 and the third will be negative so corresponding to this element so 1 0 5 2 1 0 5 2 okay now the th th last row uh, last row of the adjoint so uh, for cors cofactor corresponding to this element is 0 0 3 0 0 0 3 0 cofactor corresponding to this element is 1 3 0 0 1 3 0 0 and cofactor corresponding to this element is 1 0 3 3 1 0 3 3 and whole transpose clear okay i'm calculating it uh, here due to sort of uh, space i'm calculating here so adjoint of a adjoint of a is equal to now do the calculation so 3 into minus 1 minus 3 minus 0 so minus 3 calculate this one so 3 into uh, this is uh, one second this is uh, corresponding this uh, 3 into minus 1 so 3 into minus 1 equal to minus 3 and this minus together gives you plus 3 and this value 3 to the 6 and 5 to the uh, 15 so of uh, 3 6 minus 15 that is equal to 9 sorry minus 9 okay uh, now uh, calculate this so as the uh, first row contain 2 0 so value of the determinant will be 0 this one will be 1 into minus 1 so it is minus 1 and value of this determinant is equal to minus 2 this is 0 this is 0 and this is 3 so this and whole transpose okay so now uh, convert the row into column and column into row so if i convert the row into column and column into row so it will be minus 3 3 minus 9 0 minus 1 0 and the third row will be 0 0 uh, excuse me i have done a mistake first column is uh, minus 3 3 9 minus 9 0 1 min 0 minus 1 minus 2 and third column will be 0 0 3 0 0 3 so this is the adjoint of the matrix now apply the formula then a inverse equal to we know that 1 by data into adjoint of a that is equal to what is the value of data so value of data is equal to minus 3 so minus 1 by 3 into this determinant this matrix minus 3 0 0 3 minus 1 0 minus 9 minus 2 and 3 
so this is the inverse of the given matrix this is the inverse of the given matrix so look the process is very easy we have to just go through few step first we have to check whether the matrix is non singular or not then calculate the uh, 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 this adg of a and then calculate the uh, Mm, then put the formula a inverse equal to 1 by mod a into adjoint of a. Uh, the process is very easy. Okay, let us uh, choose uh, another problem. Uh, suppose question number, uh, suppose question number uh, 10, uh, question number 11. Let us solve question number 11. We have to calculate the inverse of the uh, given matrix. So, question number 11 is uh, a equal to a equal to the given matrix is uh, uh, 1 0 0 1 0 0 uh, 0 cos alpha sin alpha 0 cos alpha sin alpha and 0 sin alpha minus cos alpha 0 uh, sin alpha minus cos alpha we have to calculate the inverse of the matrix so first we have to check whether the inverse of the matrix is exist or not so for that calculate the uh, determinant of the matrix so first 0 0 0 second column is 0 cos alpha sin alpha and third column will be 0 sin alpha minus cos alpha. Now, if I expand the determinant along the first uh, row, so it will be 1 into this is my cos alpha into cos alpha minus cos alpha that is minus cos square alpha minus sin alpha into sin alpha is equal to sin square alpha and the uh, next term will be 0 as they contain a uh, 2 0 ok so I am not writing that so that is uh, if I take minus 1 common so minus 1 uh, 1 into cos square alpha plus sin square alpha and that is equal to minus 1 and when the cos square alpha into sin square alpha is equal to 1 so that is minus 1 so value of the determinant is minus 1 which is obviously not equal to 0 so inverse of the matrix exists now we have to calculate the uh, adjoint of the matrix. So calculate the adjoint of the matrix. Adjoint of A that is equal to uh, first write the formula. Formula is A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33, whereas Aij is the uh, cofactor of small a i j that is equal to and whole transpose ok so write the cofactor so first uh, uh, cofactor corresponding to the element small a 1 1 means corresponding to this element so uh, to find the cofactor corresponding to this element we have to cover this row and this column so we have a determinant uh, of order 2 so write the so that is cos alpha sin alpha cos alpha sin alpha and uh, sin alpha minus cos alpha ok now calculate the uh, cofactor corresponding to the element a 1 2 means corresponding to this element so you have to cover this row and this column so 0 0 sin alpha minus cos alpha 0 0 sin alpha minus cos alpha and the uh, cofactor corresponding to this element will be cover this row and this column so 0 0 cos alpha sin alpha 0 0 cos alpha sin alpha ok now cofactor corresponding to this element so cover this column and this row so 0 0 0 sin alpha minus cos alpha uh, 0 0 and then sin alpha minus cos alpha now cofactor corresponding to this element is 
cover this row and this column. So, 0 sin alpha, 0 minus cos alpha, 0 sin alpha, 0 minus cos alpha and the third element is uh, cover this column and this row. So, 0 cos alpha, 0 sin alpha, 0 cos alpha, 0 sin alpha. Okay. Now, cofactor corresponding to this element. So, 0, 0 cos alpha sin alpha, 0, uh, 0, 0 sin alpha minus cos alpha, sin alpha minus cos alpha minus. Corresponding to this element, uh, 1, 0, 0 sin alpha, 1, 0, 0 sin alpha minus. Mm, plus okay corresponding to this element 1 0 0 cos alpha 1 0 0 cos alpha and whole transpose transfer okay so now we have to just uh, expand this two cross two determinant okay. that means adjoint of a is equal to now if we extra expand this determinant cos alpha into minus cos alpha that is minus cos square alpha and minus sin square alpha and minus cos square alpha and minus sin square alpha will be gives you minus 1. So, this is a minus 1. Okay. Now, expand this determinant. So, the first column all the elements are 0. So, this this uh, will be 0. Similarly, value of this determinant will be also 0. So, first row of the determinant is uh, matrix is uh, minus 1, 0 and 0. Okay, minus 1, 0. Okay, now expand this determinant. So, as the first row containing 2, 0, so value of the determinant will be a 0, and value of this determinant will be also 0, and value of this determinant is also 0. So, the second, uh, uh, second row is uh, sorry, one second. This element is uh, 0 this element is okay sorry i have done a mistake here excuse me so a22 means 1 0 0 sin alpha 1 0 0 sin alpha 1 1 0 0 minus cos alpha and this element is 1 0 1 0 1 0 um, 0 sin alpha 0 sin alpha okay okay so value of this determinant is equal to minus cos alpha and value of this determinant is equal to minus minus sin alpha so the second row of the determinant is uh, uh, minus cos alpha 0 minus cos alpha minus sin alpha now the third uh, row of the determinant it, it is a 0 this is a uh, minus sin alpha and this is cos alpha this is cos alpha and whole transpose Okay. Now, uh, which is equal to now uh, change a row into the into the column. So the first column will be minus one zero zero, and the second column will be zero minus cos alpha minus sin alpha, and the third column will be zero minus sin alpha and cos alpha. Okay. Now, calculate the inverse of the matrix A inverse that is 1 by dt the value of the determinant A is equal to minus 1. So, 1 by minus 1 into adjoint of A means this matrix m m o minus 1 0 0 0 minus cos alpha minus sin alpha 0 minus sin alpha cos alpha. Okay. Now, multiply the matrix by minus 1. 
we know that rule for multiplication uh, by matrix by a scholar by a scalar means we have to multiply each and every element of the determinant by the scalar means here we have to multiply all the element of the matrix with minus 1 so if i multiply the so first row will be 1 0 0 0 cos alpha sin alpha 0 sin alpha and the last element is minus cos alpha so this is the inverse of the matrix clear okay so i have done question number 11 okay so let's uh, solve question number 12 now question number 12 uh, this is a um, very important property of uh, a matrix that uh, a into b whole inverse is equal to b inverse into a inverse we have to verify this property uh, with the help of a example okay. let's two matrix are given here a equal to a equal to uh, 3 7 to 5 3 7 2 5 and the matrix b is equal to matrix b is equal to 6 8 7 9 6 8 7 9 okay we uh, we have to prove that that a into b whole inverse is equal to a inverse into b inverse okay so we have to calculate a b whole inverse is equal to a inverse into b inverse so first calculate the product of a and b calculate a into b so a into b is equal to 3 7 2 5 into write the b matrix 6 8 7 9 I think you all know how to uh, calculate the product of a uh, two matrix. So, okay. So first we have to multiply the element of the first row with the first column of the second matrix. So three six are eighteen plus seven seven are forty nine. The second column will be two six are twelve plus five seven are. 35. Now, this element will be uh, 3 8s are 24 plus 7 9s are 63. And this element will be 2 8s are 16 plus 5 9s are 45. Now, add them. So, 18 plus 49 that is equal to 7 67 this element is equal to uh, 47 this value is equal to uh, 87 and this value is equal to uh, 61 61 so product of a into b is equal to uh, 67 87 47 and 61 Okay. Now, let us uh, calculate whether the product of A and B, uh, this matrix is non-singular or not. So, for that we have to calculate the determinant A B mod, because we have to calculate A B inverse. So, we have to check whether the matrix is non-singular or not. So, 67, 87, 47, 61. Now, do the product. So, 67 into 61 minus multiply this uh, 87 into 47. Okay. So, do the multiplication 67 and uh, uh, 67 and 61, 67 and 61. This is seven eight zero four. So this is uh, four zero eight seven minus. Now multiply this two. Okay. 
87 and 47. Four zero eight nine, four zero eight nine. So the result is minus two. Result is minus two. That means uh, the matrix A into V means A B in non singular. Okay. So we have to use this result. Okay. So I am writing here that uh, uh, determinant of A B is equal to minus two. Okay. Now we have to calculate the adjoint of the matrix. A into B means adjoint of this matrix. Okay, so I'm having it. Okay, so adjoint of AB will be equal to the formula is A11, A12, A21, A22. Whole transpose. So that is equal to A11 will be uh, 61. A12 will be minus 47. A21 will be, will be minus 87 and A22 will be 67 and whole transpose. So that is equal to 61 minus 87 and uh, minus 47 and uh, 67. So this is uh, adjoint of AB. So calculate the inverse A inverse equal to uh, 1 by minus 2 into this matrix 61 minus 87 minus 47 and 67 so this is the uh, this is the ab ab inverse ab whole inverse so ab whole inverse is equal to half of half of uh, a 61 minus 87 uh, then uh, minus 47 and then 67 Okay, this is AB whole inverse. Now calculate uh, B inverse, A inverse. B inverse into A inverse. Okay, so okay, let's write the result here. Let's write AB whole inverse equal to minus half matrix of 61 minus 87 minus 47 and 67. This is the value of AB whole inverse. Okay. Now we'll uh, calculate the value of A inverse and B inverse, and then we multiply. So first, calculate the value of the determinant. So five three is a fifteen minus seven two is a fourteen. That is equal to one. So uh, matrix A is also non -sing uh, non singular matrix. So we can calculate its inverse. So now calculate the adjoint of A. So adjoint of A means so I'm doing directly. So adjoint of is three minus two minus seven five whole transpose. So that is equal to three minus seven minus two and five. This is the adjoint of a. So a inverse will be equal to uh, one by data, which is equal to one matrix three minus seven minus two five. This is the a inverse. Now we have to calculate the B inverse. B inverse means, okay, B is this. So first check whether B is a non-singular or not. So B inverse is equal mod B equal to nine six fifty four mi minus fifty fifty six. So that is equal to minus two, which is also not equal to zero. So matrix B is also non-singular matrix. Now calculate its adjoint adjoint of B. So, adjoint of B will be equal to uh, 6 minus 8 minus 7 and 9. That will be the adjoint of B. Okay. Now, um, calculate the B inverse. So, B inverse equal to minus half into this matrix 6 minus 8 minus 7 9. So, A inverse is known, B inverse is known. Now, calculate B inverse into A inverse. So that is equal to minus half 6 minus 8 minus 7 9 multiplied by 
थ्री माइनस सेवन माइनस टू फाइव नाउ डू द प्रोडक्ट सो माइनस हाफ इन टू सो मल्टीप्लाई दिस सो थ्री सिक्सटीन एटीन एंड देन प्लस सिक्सटीन सेकेंड एलिमेंट इज माइनस ट्वेंटी वन माइनस एटीन दिस एलिमेंट विल बी फोर्टी टू माइनस फोर्टी एंड दिस एलिमेंट इज फोर्टी नाइन प्लस फोर्टी फाइव तो दैट इज माइनस हाफ मैट्रिक्स ऑफ एटीन प्लस सिक्सटीन इज इक्वल टू एटीन प्लस सिक्सटीन विच इज इक्वल टू यूनिवर्स सॉरी सॉरी आई हैव डन एम रॉन्ग कैलकुलेशन यर दिस विल बी नाइन एंड सिक्स आई एम एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी हियर नाइन माइनस सेवन एंड दिस इज सिक्स सो नाइन सिक्स सो माइनस हाफ 27 plus 16 minus 21 plus minus 12. This is uh, minus 63 and minus ah uh, ah uh, nine nine seven sir and eight five sir forty and. Uh, This is B. Okay, let's one thing. Inverse equal to four. Here also I have done a mistake. This is three second. We have to write the. Add joint. Add joint equal to five and three. Five and three. Half determinant of. And this is forty-nine plus eighteen. Uh, okay, so that is equal to minus half of sixty-one uh, minus eighty-seven minus forty-seven, and this is sixty-seven. Okay, if you do the calculation, result. So look. <coughs> So B inverse the value of B inverse into A inverse means this matrix and look at this matrix both are equal. So A into B whole inverse that is equal to B inverse into A inverse. Okay. So uh, A B whole inverse is equal to B inverse into A inverse and hence proved. Okay. Um, uh, let's solve a. Uh, one more problem that is a uh, question number suppose uh, question number uh, a 16 and that will be the uh, last questions of your um okay not 16 i am doing question number uh 14 ones 14 Question number fourteen is uh, from for the matrix A, which is equal to uh, three two uh, three two one one three two 
one one uh, we have to find the value of a and b such that a square plus small a into capital a plus b i is equal to zero we have to calculate the value of a and b so first calculate a square that is uh, a multiplied with a so three two one one multiplied with three two one one so do the multiplication so three three is a nine plus uh, 3 is 9 plus 2, 11, uh, 3 plus 1, 4, this is 3 to the 6 plus 2, that is 8, and this is 2 plus 1, that is 3. So, value of a square is equal to, uh, value of a square equal to 11, 8, 4, and 3. Now, put here, so, a square means 11, 8, 4, 3 plus A into, uh, put the matrix A, 3, 2, 1, 1 plus B into, I means the identity matrix of order 2 is equal to 0 means it is also a matrix, it is called 0 matrix whose all components are 0. That means, uh, this is 11, 8, 4, 3 plus, uh, uh, multiply the matrix with A. So, this is 3A, 2A, A, A and multiply this matrix with B. So, 0, B, 0, 0, B is equal to 0 matrix, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, add the matrix on the left hand side. So, it will give 11 plus 3a plus b, 4 plus a plus 0, this element will be 8 plus 2a plus 0 and this element will be 3 plus a plus 0, which is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, compare the um, corresponding element of the matrix, then we have 11 plus 3a plus b is equal to 0 and uh, if I compare this uh, this element or uh, uh, this element, so we have uh, we have this is 3 plus a plus b, uh, 3 plus a plus b is equal to 0. Okay. So, from here we have an equation that 3a plus b is equal to 0 and from here we have um, a plus b, 3a plus b is equal to minus 11 and here a plus b equal to minus 3. Then solve it, b and b cancel. So, 2a is equal to uh, um, minus 8. So, a is equal to minus 2. So, value of a is equal to uh, minus 4 value of a equal to minus 4 and if you put a equal to minus 4 here, so 3 minus 4 plus b that is equal to 0 that is b equal to 1. So, value of b equal to 1. If it if you uh, consider this uh, this 2, it will be very easy a pl 4 plus a is equal to 0. So, a is equal to minus 4. We can get it directly, do not need to go for uh, solutions by elimination method. Okay, so the uh, so value of final answer is value of a equal to minus 4 and value of b is equal to 1. So, this is the value of a and b. Okay, so uh, now we have a few more problems left, uh, but uh, due to short of time, uh, we will solve the remaining problems later on. Uh, next, we will solve it, definitely solve it. Okay, so hope you understand what, uh, what is the uh, what I have done today. Okay. Uh, so, see you next day. Thank you. Kothanolo. Problem back in the